two. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry. I'm here with the C uh, CEO of Conway Corporation, Brett Carroll. We are here to uh, really dispel some rumors and give you some information. As you all know, uh, our country is facing a crisis right now with the COVID-19. I want to start off by saying at this time there are no confirmed cases of the COVID-19 in the city of Conway. That being said, I want you to know what we are doing as a city. Our three really essential services, police, fire, and sanitation, absolutely nothing has changed there. All three of those departments are up and running. All personnel are on duty. And should something change there, they have contingency plans in place. So rest assured that those three services will constantly uh, be manned and staffed and up and running, as will our emergency operations center. There will be some changes to some of our other departments, specifically parks and recreation. The, it, it appears that the virus can be slowed down. And uh, I'm no medical professional, but this is what I've been uh, understanding from the CDC and the Arkansas Department of Health, that if we can stop large congregations of people, then there is a possibility that we could slow this down. So we're going to uh, stop some of our parks programs until this system starts, until this situation starts to, uh, to uh, alleviate a little bit. Uh, our programs uh, that we're going to cancel this time are all of our baseball tournaments, soccer tournaments, volleyball, anything that uses any of our parks, those are they're going to be closed uh, to the general public, as is our McGee Center and Owens Complex and our Expo Center. Whenever we're ready to open those back up, we will be, we'll let everyone know. We'll be glad to let you know when that takes place. We're going to make a few changes in our uh, permitting department. If you're a developer or builder, what we're going to ask you to do is have your plumbing contractor, your electrical contractor, or your HVAC contractor to contact our uh, inspectors. And they all have every, each other's numbers. What you will do then is you will FaceTime with our inspectors and you will show them your contractors will show the work that they are doing on their cell phone and we'll be able to sign off on that and uh, move your project forward and give you a certificate of occupancy when it when it's done. Uh, our other departments are going to be up and busy uh, working as usual. We have put some plans in place specifically for our employees who have small children in case our schools do close uh, or if daycares close we want them to be able to stay home with their children. So we may have to make some adjustments in some of our departments, but I want to go back and reiterate again, reiterate again that police, fire, and sanitation, those departments, nothing will change there. They're going to take care of that. I have Mr. Carroll here with us from the Conway Corporation. Some of you have had some concerns about uh, the Conway water supply. So what better way to answer that than the man who runs the water supply here in Conway, uh, Conway Corporation CEO, Brett Carroll. Well, thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say it's probably worth noting that that uh, our mayor is a first responder, been trained in, in those kind of events. So uh, so being in the city of Conway, I feel real comfortable about that. It puts my mind at ease to know that, that he's thinking about those things in terms of a first responder. But as it relates to essential utility services, I, I would say this, and not just water, but all of them. Uh, you know, we plan for these contingencies and events all the time. Our emergency prepared, uh, preparedness and planning staff has been meeting, talking about how we continue to do that and uh, you know we went through an exercise last year uh, where we had to collaborate with city and county government uh, when the flooding took place and so a lot of those uh, measures that we put in place in, in terms of preparedness and planning uh, you know that was that's fresh on our mind but uh, you know we had a a bird flu event back in 2006 that we were that we were prepared for as well so uh, long story short I, I wouldn't worry about water I wouldn't worry about electric I wouldn't worry about telecommunications, I wouldn't worry about wastewater. Uh, we have a mission to provide essential services to our, our citizens in Conway, and that's what we're prepared to do. So uh, there is no indication at all that, that this event is going to impact the, uh, the needed services that we provide uh, our customers. So we're, we're glad to do that, and we're, we're prepared to, to work the hours that we need to work to, to do that. I would say that we've, we've put some information out uh, on our social media sites that let you know how you might be able to do business with us remotely where you might not even have to come into the office which may be a good option for you so um, we're prepared uh, just to put your mind at ease shouldn't be any interruption in any of our essential services and uh, if you have any questions feel free to call us at 450-6000 we've got people there ready and waiting to take your call and answer any question that you might have thank you Brett brings up a good point. I'll, we're posting everything on our social media. Anything that, any updates we get, we are posting on those. I would also like to take a moment to thank all of our partners that have been working so hard with us on this. We've been working on, on this about six weeks now. 
Conway Corporation, City of Conway, Conway Chamber. We have a group of pastors we're working with, our nonprofits, Conway Regional, uh, Conway Baptist Conway, Conway I'm sorry, Baptist Medical Conway, uh, Conway Public Schools, St. Joe Pub uh, St. Joe Schools, Conway Christian, our universities and colleges. We constant we day, daily we are in contact with one another either face to face as a group or on conference calls. And everyone has worked really well together in Conway to uh, continue all of our services and to keep everyone safe. So uh, just no, no rest assured that we're going to continue to provide services to the city of Conway. My office number is 501-450-6110. And like I said, I will be here. My department heads will be here. And we're going to continue to uh, provide services to the people of Conway. Don't forget, wash your hands. Thank you. Three, two, one. Let me go back for just a moment, too, before we leave uh, to the comment I made about, about our parks. Even though our large-scale events where we have large crowds uh, have been canceled, our walking trails are still open and our playgrounds are still open. So if you want to get out and take a walk on the walking track or you want to take your children out to one of our playground, uh, playgrounds to play, they're still open. Thank you.